Well, hi. Uh, somewhere in this video or underneath, underneath, <laughs> there's a link to a uh, another YouTube video of an episode of the Twilight Zone called "The Obsolete Man," episode part one, and from there you can go to part two and part three. It depicts Burgess Meredith uh, as a uh, an obsolete librarian in a future society. Uh, of course, it was made probably back in the 60s, but it really uh, pretty much sums up some of the things that are happening right now in our nation. I posted a uh, message here a few weeks back about our rights disintegrating, and uh, to carry that on a little bit further, I read recently that uh, chaplains, Christian chaplains in the army or in the armed forces, are being forbidden to close their prayers with "In the name of Jesus." Um, and what is happening is just all part of the systematic elimination of religious liberty that's happening in our nation. We talked before about the Obamacare uh, attempt to uh, take away the, the religious beliefs or ignore the religious beliefs of the Catholic Church when it comes to contraception. And really, in, in all instances, because some contraception is literally uh, killing fetuses. Some of it, of course, is before conception, and I don't have a problem with that, but some of it is uh, ending life that has begun, even in the form of a zygote. I guess that's the word they use. So what's happening is uh, a systematic attempt to eliminate religious freedom. Now, if you know anything about the ancient Roman Empire, they allowed a lot of different religions. But there was one requirement. The people of that empire were required once a year to bow down and worship the emperor. If they were willing to do that, they could do anything else. They could practice any religion, worship any god they wanted to. Of course, the Christians could not do that. They were forbidden to worship any other god, so they suffered tremendous persecution at the hands of the Romans. That was 2,000 years ago but it's beginning to happen now. Uh, Catholic hospitals and other religious organizations are being forced by our government to go against their religious uh, belief to do things that they feel are morally wrong. They're, they're being uh, forced to worship the government because in a Marxist society, and in, in a Marxist regime, which is what is controlling our nation now, uh, their goal, ideologically, is the elimination of the free market system, the elimination of capitalism, and the elimination of individual liberty, because their thinking is that the government is God. And if you can't worship the government, then you must be eliminated. And this is what happened in the early uh, years of the Bolshevik Revolution. The leaders of the Russian church were arguing with each other about what color their robes ought to be and how much money they ought to make. And they ended up all being liquidated by the Bolsheviks because they were, uh, they were no longer necessary. In their thinking, Marx said that religion is the opiate of the people. So in the mind of a Marxist, religion can be tolerated as long as it doesn't interfere with the absolute stranglehold that the government has on the society. And that's where our nation is right now. Uh, and for those of you that think, oh yeah, you know, Obama's going to get voted out, he's going to be in again for another four years, because this nation has been duped, the people in this nation have been duped into believing that uh, the more power government has, the better it is for us. And it's a lie. It's a bait-and-switch thing. Uh, look at the Soviet Union. Uh, since the advent of communism, up until the time when the wall came down during the Reagan years, uh, look at there, they were so backward, I mean, they were... In the 60s and 70s, they were still driving wooden carts, for goodness sakes. People were starving. There was uh, food that was hard to come by in that nation because communism, Marxism, it, it can't work, at least not to the benefit of the people. It can work for a few on top, but the people suffer. 
So anyhow, uh, if you get a chance, check that out. Uh, the Obsolete Man. Uh, it's uh, in three parts on YouTube. Uh, it's really an excellent. Uh, it's really an excellent program. I suggest you watch it, and pray for our nation. Uh, you know, as we, the government starts to do things like uh, it, we're, we're, they're really not far from passing hate speech legislation. You know, as a preacher, I stand up and I preach God's word, and there are some things in God's word that does not agree with the politically correct. Uh, version of things in uh, in our society. They want to make that illegal. If I stand up and say that the Bible teaches that uh, sexual immorality is a sin, whether it be heterosexual or homosexual, if I stand up and teach that, I could be breaking a law if uh, some folks would have their way. And they will have their way. It will happen. So these things are happening in our nation. Uh, one brick at a time, one step at a time, this thing with the Catholic Church and uh, contraception, it's just the beginning. Believe me, you might think, well, it doesn't affect me, but if they do it to them, I guarantee you, you're next. You're next. Mm -hmm. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ today. Jesus said, when you see these things happen, look up, for our redemption draws nigh. God bless you all, and have a great day.